Hey guys, it's Greg of Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a cool one for you today. Little Deuce Coupe here. This thing is a 32. Now the body's fiberglass, everything else on it's steel. The fenders, the running mortars, the hood, the skirts, everything. The grill shell, and look at that grill shell. Now look at the grill. Now I believe that grill is highly polished aluminum and it is looking beautiful. Love the headlights also. Of course, they're steel. I just, this car is just knocking it out of the park. Look at the reflection, man. I can see myself in that front mirror right there. You can see the sun, you can see the blue sky, the white clouds, you can even see the cameraman. <laughs> it is beautiful, man. And under that hood is an LS3 with three deuces sitting on it. Wait till you see that, man. Look at here. Suicide doors, check out that interior, man. You wanna talk about cool? Now, interior is a really hard thing to get right. This guy knocked it out of the park, man. I've seen hundreds of street rods. Very, very seldom do you see one that I wouldn't change a thing. It is absolutely beautiful in there. Everything's custom, everything's gorgeous. Everything's hidden in there. The key's hidden up under the dash. All you've got is your uh, major gauges. And look at that basket weave on those seats. Just looking beautiful. And then the and door handles, baby. I hate it when the guys don't put the door handles on there. And then look at the stance on this killer car, man. Those wheels and tires are looking sweet on it. And then check out the independent rear suspension back there. The back view of this thing is the killer view, man. I tell you what, just absolutely gorgeous. We got a perfect reflection of me and the Vanguard sign right in the paint, looking sweet, man. I tell you what, at least the Vanguard sign looks sweet. I don't know about me. All the body lines are looking good. The paint as slick as can be. And then look at these tail lights. Look at the way they're fixed on there. Just one little point there. It looks like they're just setting on there, man. It's just beautiful. Now on those, like I said, the rear fenders are steel and the um, running boards are too. And they've been covered with that um, film so you don't have to worry about scratching them up. So at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do co any uh, consignment whatsoever. We own every one of our vehicles. So you know we check them out before we lay out our money. Then we put them up on the lift and inspect them so we can answer every one of your questions. So call Tom anytime. He answers his phone just about 24 seven. like a jewel I mean the whole car looks like a jewel the wheels the rear end and wait till you see this baby up on the left man the bottom side of this thing is absolutely gorgeous you're definitely gonna need some mirrors to take to the car show with you to show off the bottom side of this thing just beautiful car right here going through the gears nice and smooth with that trimming transmission and then again the LS power baby now I'm just barely pushing the accelerator here. It is fast as grease lightning, guys. I don't know when you'd get this thing in six gear, man. You get this thing in six gear, it's liable to go 200 miles an hour. I don't know, man, I'll tell you. Now I'm downshifting right now, no problem at all. Now, as you can see, down on the dash, I really love how they mirrored the dash with the way they did the uh, seats. It's kind of like a, basket weave kind of look I don't know what to call it but it looks good 
that whole instrument uh, cluster there looking good. We got the rear view mirror, we got the radio up there. I mean, it's got a tilt column in it. Now, I am just a little bit shy of six foot tall. I got some headroom here. I got tons of belly room here, so I need to go get some fried chicken or something. I need to get going on that belly again. <laughs> That's the thing about dieting, it sucks. But you get in a street ride like this, it feels better. Just having a blast here. I'll tell you what, you're gonna have to build yourself a uh, trophy shelf in your garage for this one. It's gonna need to be big too. You might wanna like completely enclose it. Maybe make the whole other side of your garage for the trophies on this baby. Now we're gonna go back to the shop and put it up on the lift and show you what it looks like on the bottom side. And don't forget, you can call Tom anytime and he'll tell you exactly how easy it is to park your dream in your driveway. Stick with us here. All right, we're underneath this beauty now and man, it's cool, isn't it? Look at that rear end housing. Now that is similar to a Jag setup, but it's uh, an aftermarket unit. There's nothing Jaguar about it, but the fact that it's independent suspension. Look how they snuck the exhaust out up here. Isn't that sweet? And look at those calipers, the way they're all polished up. The rear end housing itself is a big block of aluminum, all polished up. Uh, the lower control arms look like they're stainless. I mean, just everything, are, they may be chromed. I, I, you know what, now that I look at it, I think these are chromed. They're fully adjustable too. They got these trailing arms here to keep it nice and solid. They got the new, the, the dual, I'll get it out, the dual um, coilover shocks holding it up. The drive shafts are chrome. Um, the hub out here is all aluminum and it's polished up. The frame's all painted up looking good. The exhaust is all polished up looking good. The drive shaft's polished up looking good. I mean, the frame is all boxed in, all aftermarket looking sweet. We got the T56 Trans, that's the uh, five, uh, six speed automatic, six speed manual. Man, I can't talk today. We've got a hydraulic clutch set up here. Uh, we got stainless steel headers, everything looking sweet under here. And of course, the uh, LS motor up here. Now, it looks like the uh, trans and the pan were either powder coated or they got some beautiful paint on them. It does have rack and pinion steering. It is manual. You don't need power. The thing steers fine. Uh, lower control arms polished up, tie rod ends polished up, calipers up here, spindles, upper control arms, everything polished on this thing looking absolutely gorgeous, man. I tell you, like I said, you're gonna need mirrors for the bottom side of this car, because she is pretty. You can see how the hardware looks good. And these wheels are killer, man. I just love them. They just look amazing. Um, they are, uh, does it say billet specialties? Yes. Yes, it says billet specialties. My eyes are going. Don't get old if you can help it. 205, 45, 17. The bottom side of these fenders are all nicely painted, looking good. You can see the stainless hardware. Uh, the fenders, the running boards are steel. Like I said, everything just absolutely beautiful. Then back here, these are Pirelli's, and those are 295, 45, 20s. Same good looking wheel, man. They are gorgeous. We're gonna lower it down and look at the LS3 under the hood. All right, under the hood here, we got LS3 power. Look at this thing. And then look at this custom intake. I mean, it is billet, it is sheet metal, it is CNC worked, and it's looking beautiful. We got three deuces sitting on top. It is electronic fuel injection. You can see that valley pan is also aluminum polished. Those valve covers have got the coils in them. They look amazing. I mean, everything about this car is just amazing. Now, as you see these pockets right here, the hood fits down in these pockets on either side. And you see you got a prop rod for either side. So you can either fold it up um, towards the driver's side or fold it up towards the passenger side. There's two little rods right underneath the dash. You pull on those, which back these pins out. Uh, and then you can leave the hood at home if you want to show off this killer motor. Or you can put the hood on and run it with the hood. Guys, this is an amazing piece right here. So give us a call at 248. 974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your drive.